Hey everybody, gonna do a quick market outlook video for next week, which is December 19th through 23rd. Keep in mind, we are coming into Christmas, so it's a holiday week, so things may be a bit slower. So don't force trades, keep it in mind. Um, all right, starting, we always look at three time frames. I look at the month, the week, the day. So starting at the month, Red two up, what do we have? We have a potential outside month target. What does that mean? It means our target by the end of December would be to reach 368 if we continue to the downside. Still kind of stuck in this broadening formation. Price seems to keep pulling back to this 400, 395 area, just the middle of that broadening formation. Okay. Hughes, same story. Failed two up on the month, potential outside month. What does that mean? Means target would be 259 by the end of December if we get 32 continuation down. IWM, a little bit different. It didn't take out November's highs. So this is just a two up, two down reversal. And we have these relative equal lows down here. Price likes to go and take those out. No weekly actionable signal though. So that's okay. You don't have to have weekly actionable signals to play it to the downside. You can instead use daily actionable signals. And what would those be? It would be like a two up, which you don't touch, and then you come and play the two down. VIX did trigger the double inside quarter and down, but initially that was a smaller time frame target, so we've had some corrective activity. Uh, now the week is set up for an actionable signal to re trigger or reconfirm that quarterly setup. So the quarterly setup was this. You had a double inside quarter and then we went inside and down. So here's your weekly actionable signal. So if, oh, you got a daily actionable signal also to trigger it. So VIX looks good to the downside for tomorrow. If you can go two up, two down, trigger the weekly reversal, you're gonna come and target this 19 again, and then all these lower targets. Anything in green is a target. Bitcoin still inside quarter and down on the month, still trading inside last month's range. Um, did come and basically back test that old double bottom or relative equal lows. Kind of here's your little broadening formation, higher highs, lower lows. So it just made lower lows, so it might need some daily corrective activity. Then once you get it, you can reshort. Then your targets would be 15.9 and 15.4. XLE Energy, we knew we were at all-time high exhaustion risk coming into this month. That's why we shorted the inside week and down. Now you're getting some corrective activity. You do have another inside week. So I would prefer it to the downside because the month is red and that's where our full, our like near-term full-time frame continuity is using the monthly. It did, however, stop, I noticed, at that monthly fair value gap. So that's interesting to see when that happens, which is right there, that dashed line. Gold, possibly at exhaustion rest now after going outside month back here in November and then taking out this weekly pivot high, so maybe it wants to see some corrective activity. So if so, you would short below 165 targeting like 160, 
162, 161. Also, just to note, red on the month. So, very actionable to the downside in the short term. Like, not for like a really... Not saying this is going to pull all the way back down to here, obviously. I just think that some corrective activity might want to happen. XLU. Took out weekly magnitude. Just kind of stuck back in the middle of this broadening formation. Not the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Don't really like it. Could go either way, so I don't like those. XLP, obvious exhaustion. We took out that pivot high. I wonder if it took out this one. 77.65, 77.62, didn't quite, but that's okay. It took out its monthly target. And that's what's more important. So now you could redraw your broadening formation like this, because now you have a slight higher high, and then down here, here's your obvious lower low compared to the previous low. So 3-2 continuation down looks likely. Uh, I do not see us going outside month, which would happen down here at 70.49. It's possible, I suppose, but we don't have a whole lot of month left. So I would probably target 72 and then these relative equal lows here, 72, 38. Then you got a little pivot low there, which is also a weekly target. XLV. Uh, just exhausting two up continuation that's failed turned red also don't really like this chart just don't like it so that's all right we don't play it if we don't like it xle definitely trying to go outside month we knew we were at exhaustion back here, and that's where the reversal happened on that two up, two down week. Then we had CPI, so it wicked up. We have a lot of threes on the week because of that CPI day. Um, but yeah, XLE definitely is looking like it wants to go outside month, so I would wait for corrective activity on the daily and then short it. That's the target, 33.08. XLB, same story, but no way we're going to go outside month. We don't have enough month left. So, don't really love it. Here's the recent broadening formation. We did just make a lower low. So maybe we get stuck inside here, or maybe we go 3-2 continuation down, which, if you play, that's fine. I don't play. Um, but again, anything like that, you can always wait for daily corrective activity and then short. Targets, though. That. There is a gap fill target, but that's kind of asking a lot on a weekly setup. So be realistic with how far things can move. XLI, beautiful top of broadening formation. It even came and took it out on the CPI data. Failed, took out this target already, so I don't know. I don't love, oh, maybe it didn't actually. 97.10, 97.15. Not quite. So same story. Wait for some corrective activity. You can look to short. Outside month is down here. Doesn't seem too, too far away. I suppose it could happen. Uh, 
Those are your targets if the week goes 3-2 down. 95. Got some in here. So why going outside month target 131.90. Same thing. Wait for daily corrective activity if you can before we take that out. XLK. I'm not sure what I was doing. I guess I was showing that this price action looks just like this price action. We had a green two up and then a two up that turned red. Green two up, two up that turned red. And what happened back here was we made a new low. And you have this very clear daily. Look at this. High, low, well, we'll start here. Low, high, new low, new high, new low, new high, new low. Beautiful. So do we get expansion finally and go down? And it looks like it. Big gap to fill. So if you go three down on the week, so if you break below 126.83, your main target would be this gap fill. And then that pivot low target, then that pivot low target, which would be an outside month. XBI. Just yucky. Stay away. This inside and down did not work. It was negated because it gapped below the trigger. That's where it opened. Not the daily open, it's the weekly open, but <clears throat> We don't like to short on gap downs. We want it to trigger through our price. So what you have here on a higher time frame is basically a tightening range. So you basically have a symmetrical triangle. So price is just kind of tightening up, kind of stuck going sideways. You could also refer to this as mother bar problems. And what I mean by that is you could even go from here to here. So swing high to swing low, we've been stuck inside the whole time. So stay away from this. SMH, same story as almost everything else. Failed two up on the month, potential outside month. Highly unlikely we become an outside month, um, but it can happen. Very, very obvious broadening formation on the daily, just like the whole market was. I mean, look at that, like to the tick. Broadening formations you can draw, it doesn't really matter. I actually tell people, I don't care about the lines. Work on your finger doodles. Low, high, new low, new high, new low, new high, new low. That's all we're doing is seeing if we've made a new high compared to the previous high. If so, we could be exhausted. We could reverse. That's all we're doing. All right, that is all I got. Have a good week. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Whatever your religion is. And I look forward to a new year with everybody. All right, peace.